Greetings humans, a Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of The Long Dark Stalker. Thanks for joining me. Well, we're here at the Lonely Lighthouse. We got all the stuff we're gonna... that we need. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna head back to Coastal Highway. Before we do that, I'm gonna mark off a landmark in our journal. So even though we're way down, we're moving kind of slow. We're still gonna go and get this landmark. We at 100%, we're at 100. That's good, it's good to be 100. So the sun's coming up. Still pretty murky out there. Just gonna be a little bit quiet. While the sun comes up. Rabbit or wolf? Rabbits. I know I shot at somebody over here the other day. Didn't track him down afterwards. Interesting weather conditions. It's turning around. Change it, not really. Well, that was the saddest little sunrise. See, I'm just trying to get. It would be really cool if they added a map feature to the game. Um, the map would be completely blank, and every time you found one of the landmarks, it would mark off on the map. It would be nice. Maybe, you know, it, it could be a realistic map. It's not a map that actually shows your position. Just is a map. So you would actually have to be at or near one of the landmarks. 
to be able to orient yourself correctly. That way it stays realistic. to be in there. Is that a bear? He was hanging out there last time. Oh, bear. Wolf. Oh. Oh. Get down to 82. I thought I hit him with that shot. I really did. Fever risk. That bear isn't coming after me, is he? Oh my goodness. That was not good. I'll try not to be quite the little adventure. Whoa! Whoa! Holy moly, I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Like he was like running right alongside me, I guess. Shoot. We've got a weird animal loop here. We've got bears and wolves. Oh. Uh, no. No. What the heck is going on here in the animal kingdom? Clearly, craziness. Well, that was <laughs> worth it just for the adventure. I don't know why I'm going so much slower now. Probably like walking head on into a part of the wind. Apparently that is the case. Gotta get this bear though. Get this bear out of the way. Bugging out. Let's get out of the cold. Leave the simple tools. All right, we are warming up in here, which is good. Our clothes are damaged from the attack. But we're going to repair them.
please don't get sick. Please, please, please don't get sick. Okay, here we are. We are terribly cold. On the broken bridge. So. I can't remember if that waterfall is actually a landmark or not. So it's actually, sorry about this. Uh, back and forth, forth and back. Alright, here we are in the journal. Lonely Lighthouse, Broken Bridge. So how do I get to those different tabs? Oh, the other one is to write. X is to take notes. Gotcha. Alright. Well, it's all looking good. No collectibles found. 80 locations discovered. 50% of the world explored. Yeah. Alright, well, we gotta head back sometime. Might as well be now and hopefully move a lot faster with the wind at our back. No, I think we're gonna have to ride this out. There's no reason to get ourselves free. You know what I'm saying? So. I think you actually can. Deploy that. Yeah, you go to campcraft. One hour. Let's see if we've warmed up a bit. Because it does take your sleeping bag into account. Oh, yeah, we can make it back now. Great. So yes, you can pull that move. Can use your sleeping bag inside a car. Helpful little tip when you're caught out in some terrible, terrible weather. And without, like if you just sit in the car, you're not going to get as much benefit. It's just sitting in the car, you're not like sitting in your sleeping bag but you can go to that menu and either wait or sleep and you will get all the nice benefits of the warmth so that wolf very much looks alive really can't afford to take any more damage Stop snowing. Alright, hopefully he goes out on the water. Not head back this way. Let's get out. See, so yeah, we're just gonna book it out. Go to Crumbling Highway.
Do I hear some wolves? Stalked from behind at the moment. So there's definitely going to come a point in this game where we found all the bullets that there are to find until they add new zones. Um, at that point, things are going to get interesting in a tough kind of way. Because if you're out of bullets, really are at a disadvantage versus wolves. And I would not recommend using the bow and arrow versus them. Maybe if you do land a shot, it scares them away. I don't know, I've never landed a bow and arrow shot on a wolf. But, at the point you don't have the rifle anymore, I really think that the playstyle has to get even more conservative. Alright, we got five shots. They are colds, yeah. So after all this, we're still going to have several zones to explore. There's um, Winding River in between Mystery Lake. And I think just discovering that as the zone, excuse me, um, is like a landmark or a point of interest. There's no points of interest within it, I don't think. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then there is Pleasant Valley and everything in Pleasant Valley. And then there's also Timberwolf Mountain, so... Got a bit more to explore. So the exit of the zone is not straight ahead, um, but we still are going to go up there and get that landmark, and we will go up towards the mine, head back to Crumbling Highway, where we had an issue with wolves last time.
I wonder if they'd ever do multiplayer. I know it's really not in the plans, but... Could be fun to have like two person matches. See so you survive the longest and you can shoot each other. But it would be more about hiding and surviving the wildlife. You just have to survive longer than the other guy. But there would be a motivation to go for that quick win with a kill and just always be hunting the other person. Alright, I don't think I've marked this off yet. There we go, new location discovered. Blocking Highway. Time to proceed, we've got nine hours of daylight. Other than being cold, though we are warming up, everything else is okay. Hmm. I think we've done this before where we kind of missed it. This is like the rabbit clearing or something. It is not. The way to the mine. Or maybe it is. Just have to follow it. pains. There we go. So that is the way to go around. Looks like our climb and tie off. Once we get inside we'll eat and drink and proceed.
Alright, here we go. Let's make it through them. Pretty sure this has been searched. Yes, it has. Well, that's nice. What is a pretty high risk for cabin fever because of all that forging we did? See a light at the end of the tunnel. Well, we'll at least peek outside and see if it's reasonable or not. Daylight are left. I think we can make it through. Visibility is not good, but
Here we are. In the spooky forest. Back up to the road. Let's get out of this zone. Seven hours of daylight left. Yes, indeed. Almost there, almost there. And then we will get our butts to the Quonset ASAP.
Almost there. Very close, very close indeed. highway and let's avoid uh, wolves So one thing I would like to see tweaked a bit in this game is the respawn rates on the wildlife. Um, I can see certain reasons why people would want a pretty frequent respawn rate, but I actually don't think it is all that realistic in keeping with the realistic intents of the game. Um, I think when you kill off the wildlife in the zone it should stay that way for like a very long time at least like maybe 60 days of in-game time I think it makes sense on a lot of levels it's more realistic in that you know there's like so few wolves in the world you know or so few wolves in uh, North America that uh, if you kill like six wolves you're making a huge impact on their population in a certain area so I just kind of like to see you to be able to sort of clear out an area of wolves and or bears and then have sort of a long respawn timer the way it is now it seems like in a week the same groupings of wolves are respawning I'm so hungry right now. I have not eaten in how long has it been? 7 p.m. Yes. I have not eaten in 30 hours. Um, getting something done the hospital tomorrow that requires me to fast and take this horrible drink um, but oh my goodness I'm so hungry I can't wait until after everything's done tomorrow and I can eat I think I'm just gonna actually have a, just a smoothie though And hopefully we will find out sort of what's going on with me and why I'm feeling so bad and if it's just complications from Crohn's and how we're going to remedy that. much as hungry as I am like mentally like physically it's not a big deal just 30 hours but yeah like mentally I'm in a house where I know there are like all these amazing snacks just 10 feet away Can't have them though. Which yeah, tomorrow it'll probably be a, probably first thing I'll get is a smoothie. That'll be at like around lunchtime, I think. And then 
after the smoothie, I'm gonna have some for real. Have some pizza or something. Yeah, that's what I should do. Go to the pizzeria. So slow. There's gonna be like three hours of daylight left when we get back. As soon as we make it to the Quonset, I'm going to call it an episode. Um, just because, like I said, tomorrow morning, pretty early. We gotta go to the hospital. We gotta go to the hospital. Wow, I like yawn and close my eyes and the visibility dropped by 100 feet. Almost there. Almost there. No wolves, please. I don't want to have to shoot yet another wolf today. But the upside of going to the hospital tomorrow is I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Yay! Not that I don't really love my job, because I do. Love the people, love the work. Don't necessarily love the commute. It's not that bad. Where are you at, Quonset? Okay. You got a good chunk of me. Well, that certainly happened. Welcome back to Coastal Highway, where the wolves are plenty. Well, on that note, that is going to be it for this episode. If you want to see more of The Long Dark and are enjoying this series, it makes me super happy when you like and subscribe. That's going to be all for now. Spinning Mantis out. Namaste.